Assalamualaikum everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Simon here, your grammar teacher. Today we are going to solve international kangaroo linguistic contest, and this is paper of um two uh, twenty twenty. This is Benjamin level class five and six. So let's start with it. Procedure is same, uh, like in class one, two, three, and four. Ah, uh, one story is given to you, and then there are some MCQs asked about the story. But in this class five and six. One question will be given to you, and then there will be multiple answers, and you have to choose the correct answer. So, first one I have already done. Uh, the first one is, what is a scholarship? A scholarship is basically a ship with scholars, a small naval academy, money given for continuing one's studies, a place where ships are repaired, a sailor working on a ship. So, the correct option is money given for. Continuing one studies, you get the scholarship. The two uh, those students get the scholarship who get the highest grades in their education level, and then they uh, they are given the scholarship by the institution so that they can continue their studies. So number C option is correct. You have to mark this answer. Number two, Adrian, Jamie, Dolly, Molly, and Naomi have gone to this chip shop for their dinner. Molly, Naomi, and Jamie all have chips. Adrian chooses pie for his meal. The only one to have fish is Molly. Jam, Jamie, Dolly, and Naomi each have a sausage. Everyone has mushy peas with their meal except Jamie and Molly, who buys the most items. Now, the uh, you know that there are uh, five characters, and how you are going to solve this uh, question? First, write down the names of these five characters, and then write down the things that they buy from this uh, chip shop, and then you will come to know that the the person who uh, who buys the most item is number e nomi okay i'm not doing it on the screen it's difficult for me so for, uh, uh, that's how you are going to solve it that just write down the names of the characters and write the names of the things that they purchase from the shop and then you will come to know that number e option nomi is the one who buys the most items okay question number 3 Which of the following is difficult to hold in a sieve? Sieve is a strainer, uh, a strainer, जिसे हम पुना कहते हैं. So what is difficult to hold? Lentils, lentils is salad. Uh, beans, no. Peas, no. Spaghetti, no. Broth, broth is the curry that we uh, that we make when we uh, cook the food. Okay. So broth is the correct answer. <coughs> Question number four. Although she studied hard, Matilda had very dash marks in English throughout the year. Reduced marks, low marks, small marks, low marks, or imperfect. So the correct option is number D. That she got very low marks in English throughout the year. Which pair is not made of words which sound the same? Now you have to see the sounds. Allowed, loud, weather. Both are having the same sound. Waste. Both are having the same sound. Wrap. Both are having the same sound. But here in this option number C, this is race and this is race. Now, what is the difference? Difference is that here we are having z sound, race, and here we are having s sound, race. So this is the pair which is having uh, different sounds. <clears throat> Okay, number. Uh, okay, next is uh, is the stories, uh, movie reviews. Read the following short film reviews for each uh, question six to ten. Choose the film that would be suitable for each person. So here are five movies, and the synopsis is given. A uh, brief description is given about the movies, and then you will uh, answer the question that which person which like um, uh, would like to watch uh, which movie. So let's. Uh, Read the reviews first. First is Annabella comes home. Annabella uh, comes home. Investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren do their best to protect the world from the unimaginable doings of the possessed doll. They lock her in one of the rooms in their house. The film makes use of incredible special effects, all thanks to the latest technology. Okay, this is uh, uh, this is the movie. It means that this is a horror movie. Okay, and unexpected events are going to um, occur in this movie. Anna Bella comes home. Second is La La Land. Both Sebastian and Mia want to spend their lives doing what they love. It is this sheer desire that brings them together in this unbelievable love story. This is the ideal movie for music lovers as the characters get to sing and dance to some incredible music throughout the film. So, La La Land is a movie and uh, is a romantic movie. Okay, and and a person who has the romantic approach, uh, he is going to like this movie. 
Number third is Searching for Sugar Man. This Academy Award winning movie is about a rock and roller from the 70s. His music is lost in his native America, but it somehow becomes a huge hit in South Africa. It is a true story that fans of the genre will fall in love with. Now Searching for Man it is based on a true story. Uh, you have to keep the information in your mind that what is uh, which story tells you what. Like Annabella is a horror movie, La La Land is a romantic movie and Searching for Sugar Man is a story which is based on true events. It's a true story. Then is Murder on the Orient Express. Poirot is one of the most immediately recognizable characters and this movie based on the Agatha Christie classic shows his amazing skills incredibly well. Yes, there is a murder, but can the Belgian detective find the murderer? Okay, now it means that this is the suspense. Uh, those uh, people who like to watch movies which are full of suspense, uh, they are going to like this movie Murder on the Orient Express because there will be a detective, there will be a murder and um, it will be a, uh, unexpected uh, events uh, are going to uh, happen in this movie okay next is wonder park little kids will lo just love this animated film it celebrates the power of imagination and love while it tells the story of an amusement park where june's imagination comes alive june is an incredibly young uh, uh, sorry incredibly creative young girl okay this story wonder park is basically uh, an adventurous film and it is having creative characters uh, it is most like the animated movies okay children are going to love this okay let's see number six is uh, palm loves movies based on real events now see the clue here real events is uh, given it means that you have to see the movie which is based on true story she has always been a huge fan of documentary especially <clears throat> especially those uh, which have received great critical acclaim palm would love to see what annabella comes home la la land searching for sugar man murder on the orient express or wonder park so the correct option is number c searching for sugar man because this is a movie based on true uh, true events number seven george is a 12 year old boy who loves watching adventure films he is particularly fond of those movies which are both based on highly creative characters now see creative characters it means the animated characters and uh, who have a lot of fun in exciting places like fun fears of zoos george would love to see annabella comes home la la land searching for sugar man murder on the orient expense or wonder park so the correct option is wonder park because this is a movie which is based on uh, adventure and creative um, characters number eight what pedro enjoys most when he watches a good film is that bit which will keep him on the edge of his seat he will never say no to an original horror movie pedro would love to see now here uh, this horror is telling you something annabella comes home la la land searching for sugar man murder on the orient expense or wonder park so which story he is going to watch is going to watch number a annabella comes home horror movie okay number nine sandra is into book adaptations for the big screen she really likes those movies that keep her guessing till the very end and she enjoys unexpected events now this is giving you the clue unexpected events and sandra would love to see which movie which movie is having the unexpected events and which are more uh, which is having more suspense it was number d murder on the orient express in which we have seen that there is a detective and murderer and uh, this is a movie full of suspense okay number 10 jack simply loves romantic movies he is not particularly crazy about sand endings but he will always appreciate a good musical and he will sing along with the main characters jack would love to see now here this is uh, giving you a clue that romantic movie which um, movie was romantic la la land so number b option is correct okay number 11 choose the sentence which is the closest in meaning to the first one i am seeing the craggers this evening so what does that mean that i am seeing the craggers this evening that the event uh, is has not taken place uh, he is going to meet this evening so see what are the options just now in the evening i'm looking at the craggers this is wrong this evening i will be watching a film called the craggers no i'm looking out of the window this evening and i can see the craggers no I have arranged to meet the Craigus uh, later today in the evening. So number D option is correct. 
and the last says i will have a meeting with the gregus tomorrow no here it is this evening so number d option is correct <clears throat> number 12 complete the dialogue Hard, uh, do you ever wake up before 6 am no hardly ever hardly never hard and ever ever hardly never hardly so the correct option is number a that no hardly ever i uh, wake up at 6 am okay number 13 what do you buy when you go window shopping what is window shopping window shopping is when you go go for shopping but you don't buy anything you just go for fun and uh, see the check the rates and just uh, for the fun you go for the shopping so number a windows nothing clothes glasses smart things so nothing number b option is correct the band is planning to go on dash in europe and asia next year what uh, this band is going for a tour travels a circuit trip or journey it will be a tour okay from one a part from europe to asia they are going they are moving so it's it's a tour number 15 dad refuses to let us kids dash out in the rain uh, let us kids to go out in the rain jump or go out in the rain uh, going or to walk so the correct option is number c dad let us kids go out in the rain number 16 karen dashed to driving lorry she has been doing it since she left school 5 years ago so uh, she has been doing this and from the last 5 years she is doing so what you are going to say that karen gets used to driving lorries or is not used karen is used to driving lorries karen didn't use or used so the correct option is number c is used to driving lorries number 17 match the formal phrases on the left with its informal equivalent to the right okay i regret to inform you that it appears that it can assure you that please confirm receipt of uh, we would appreciate it if okay now you have to um, match the answers here first and then you are going to mark the answer which is the correct one so number uh, number uh, number first is i regret to inform you that that uh, what does that mean it means that i am sorry to tell you that so this is okay number 1 is with number d it appears that it appears that means it seems that this then i can assure you that i can assure you means that i can promise you this with number b then please confirm receipt of it means that uh, let us know when you get okay number four is number e let us know when you get then uh, he would appear um, sorry we would appreciate it if we would really happy if okay this is number c so uh, which option is correct uh, first with d first with d two with a so number d option is correct that first is joined with d uh, second with a third with b four with e and five with c Okay, number eighteen. A popular saying goes: "A bird in the hand is worth two in the dash." Uh, worth two in the tree, bush, window, pot, or garden. The correct option is number B. A bird in hand is worth two in the bush. And what does that mean? It means that it's better to have a small secured advantage than the possibility of a bigger one. Okay, this is the meaning of this quotation, and this is the saying like this. that a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush okay when sam was a small child he dashed to spend hours every day playing with stones in the garden he would would is a past form of will okay and it is used in past or uh, he was he used to uh, were or had so the thing that you used to do uh, in the past you use this phrase used to okay he used to spend hours every day playing with stones in the garden number 20 and spends all her days driving from meeting dash meeting meeting in meeting at meeting into meeting on meeting or to meeting meeting to meeting it means that from one meeting to another meeting so number e, e option is correct match the meanings with it idioms okay idioms are given and here are the meanings you are going to search the answer so one by one we will see number uh, first is but you did it you have to face the music 
but you did it you have to face the music so the correct option is uh, number it means that you have to accept the consequences of your action okay this is number e okay you two don't see eye to eye what does that mean you don't see eye to eye it means that you don't agree with each other you have a difference of opinion so number d you are an old hand at the game you are an old hand at the game it is uh, three you are an old hand at the game you are experienced it means that you are more experienced okay number four you are a bit thick in the head when it comes to reading a map it means that you are not intelligent you don't know how to read the maps you are not intelligent that's great you keep everything under your thumb it means that you have control of the situation number c option so the correct option is one with e two with d three with a four with b and five with c number b option is correct okay number 22 jim loves to take dash in team sports love loves to take part place participation game time so it's very clear number a option is correct loves to take part 23 mom has a problem dash asleep yes falling asleep getting snoozing sleeping going falling asleep this is the expression that we use falling asleep you can find jack in his office dash 1 and 2 pm now two uh, extremes are given two times are given so here will be when the two points are given you have to use between okay it's not about 1 and 2 pm it's between 1 and 2 pm 25 i have to spend it up in dash to meet the deadline uh, a deadline number 25 it is i have to spend it up in hurry to meet the deadline need confusion deed or order this is number e i have to spend it up in order to meet the deadline okay how many words naming the nationalities of the countries below end in ian okay you should know that uh, these are the names of the countries and you should know that what are the nationalities uh, norway the people living in norway they are called norwegian uh, sweden, uh, sweden swedish japan japanese spain spanish germany german scotland scottish iraq uh, iraq iraqi italy italian and belgium uh, belgium is belgians okay so how many are there which are having ian there are three norwegian italian and belgian so the number c option is correct three okay 27 will you dash this essay please and see if i have made any mistake will you look up see through see to look through or look number 27 is number d will you look through this essay okay it means that will you read out and see if there if there is any mistake number 28 a lot of trains dash late today due to the heavy storm a lot of trains run late today it's today so are running late today or runs late today ran or are run so the correct option is number b are running late today it's happening now so we have to use continuous match the verbs from first column with the phrases from second column to create five collocations okay do make get come have so uh, what what will be the first one do with do you are going to say that do on a bus a do a snooze an appointment do the housework with do you will match do the housework make so uh, make the decision or make an appointment the correct option is <coughs> uh, to with c make an appointment okay number three number three with get get on a bus get on a bus come uh, come with come to a decision come to a decision have uh, number five number five with have a snooze okay the correct option is number e 1d 2c 3a 4d and 5b okay number 30 complete the following sentences by choosing an appropriate word from the table a twig is a part of 
yes a twig is a part of branch okay then a beak is a part of a bird okay beak is a part of beak is a part of bird and arm is a part of uh, arm is a part of chair a blade is a part of uh, knife and a sole is a part of shoe so the correct option is number 1 with number b 1 with number b 2 uh, with a so number a option is correct 5 with d okay number a option is correct so that's all for uh, for the past year of 2020 okay thank you so much and have this